Mm, welcome back to Dead Rising 2. Well, now that we know that TK's in on this, he's the bad guy, I guess we should, uh, go, oops. Make out with the zombie. Yep, yep, excuse me, pal, not today. I mean, I know I look the part, but please, no. Now, now we're going to be doing some side missions while we wait for uh, the mission to give Katie her Zombrex, so we've got some free time. Chuck the role model. Yep. He has certainly been a role model, all right. I I've been waiting for this one. This one's one of my personal favorites. But anyway, let's combine a brand new item. Take a uh, cement saw and a saw blade. Combine those together. And you get a really fun a weapon. Cement saw blade. The Ripper. It's the circular saw from Resi 7. It, it pretty much is, yeah. Yeah, one hit kills on zombies, just automatically gone. Unfortunately, you can't keep it in your inventory. And uh, around here, this is also the place where you would learn to make the defiler, because there's a fire axe in here, and there is also a uh, sledgehammer just outside there. So that's a quick and easy way to make a defiler. So you can defile some enemies. Yeah, it's uh -oh. a oh. Oh, why are you reminding me now of all times? There's plenty of time. Yeah, just saying, it's 7 p.m. now, so... <laughs> In 12 hours, she's gonna need this stuff, Chuck. You better get back here. Oh. Yeah. See, now we're gonna be getting missions left and right after we... As soon as we clear out one mission, chances are very high that Stacy's gonna call with another mission. So we're, <laughs> we're gonna have a lot to take care of here in the uh, in the upcoming hours of... Uh, Fortune City here. Oh, I've loaded you with missions. Wow, this thing breaks so easily. Just body parts everywhere. It's <laughs> body nasty. parts everywhere. And the uh, the special attack when you hold down X is just cutting a zombie in half from top to bottom. It's pretty neat. It gives you 50 extra PP. I love uh, checking your watch after you just kill the zombies. Just... <laughs> No, it's, hmm. a half, it's a half past three, huh? Oh, I, I better get going. Katie's waiting for me. Uh, so this I didn't mean to do immediately. I actually didn't know these guys were up here. But uh, there are two survivors just right outside the uh, the underground after you beat TK in that part of the story. You just come up here and all of a sudden there's a mission for you in this time frame. So while I'm here, might as well do it. Let's see, this one was industrial fashion. Ah, hello. You're Willa? Yes, my name is Willa. Hi, I'm Chuck. It's pleasant to meet you. Huh, it is a pleasure to meet you as well. Well then, I guess that's Willa met. Yep, I knew it. I knew you were going for that. I'm glad we were on the same, same wavelength there. Oh, jeez. I wonder what Terry is. Uh, well, she doesn't look like a cow, so she can't be terrible. Table. My name's, my name's Terry. Terry Tory. This is my area. <laughs> there we go. So he'll just leave the naming to you. <laughs> uh, these two, their deal is Terry was helping out Willa, so uh, Willa can't take care of herself much. So I believe she's hurt. So you get to carry Willa. Terry, she could take care of herself. You can give her any weapon and she will wreck house with any zombies. But well, we were actually on our way to a psychopath fight and just happened to pick these two up. So might as well bring them along. So as she's on your back, she starts to cry. That'd make her a weeping Willa. <laughs> Damn it. I knew she looked like a tree. <laughs> God, you know, so you know what I mean? I like to get on her <laughs> trunk and uh, get in her leaves. God, I'm getting splinters in my lower back. Stop knock it. Down the, knock down the bees in her hive, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Oh, uh, this is something else that I can talk about. Do you remember those looters that have been around Fortune City? Oh, there they are. Yeah, they're they're just regular enemies now, so uh, just be, be watchful for them. Uh, they drop smaller weapons, like a flashlight, sometimes a spray paint can. Uh, yeah, they, they give you extra experience, so that would be a good reason to hunt them down and kill them. And why hasn't this guy died? There we go. It does seem to be very threatening. Like, all they seem to do is just wave a crowbar around and maybe a flashlight and, like laugh and scream a bit pretty much they don't get a lot of opportunities to attack when chuck green's around only if you basically just sit there and let them attack you oh terry please 
will they actually get a chance to attack you. They are not threatening in the slightest, and you get 500 prestige points for killing them, so might as well. I suppose, yeah. All right, we are almost there. Yep, it's in the arena. <laughs> Boy, a female construction worker in a Daisy Duke's top. Wow, a man must have wrote this. Then she throws the lead pipe at Chuck. Stop! <laughs> Stop! Shut no! Shut the, the fuck up, boy! <laughs> exactly. Exact words. Shut the hell up. Um. Oh, my apologies. It's in Americana. And uh, another thing we'll be doing in this episode, since we do have a little bit of free time, I guess I should start showing off some of the hidden Zombrex that's around Fortune City. So, when we finally get a free moment and we're not doing missions all the time, I'll be sure to show those off. I never got the point of these, uh, these things. What, the, the escalators? The moving sidewalks, basically? The moving sidewalks. It's like, hey, why don't you get to 50 feet away in about three seconds faster? I, I don't know, maybe people just want to you know, stand around, Stay take in the sights. But, uh, hey, here we go. Put those survivors a, off to the side. Mall. And here we go. The movement is growing. Soon we'll all be part of the change. Hey, buddy. You okay? Chuck Green. you for showing me the way. Now, my life has meaning again. At first, I, I didn't understand what the two of you were up to. What are you talking about? Letting the zombies free. Cure didn't have anything to do with that, and neither did I. First, it was horrible. The, the zombies, the the zombies we've been trying to save. Killing people. Eating people. But then I saw how brilliant the plan is. It's the best way to end the oppression. It's so radical. It's beautiful, man. Please help me. So I'm helping now. I'm a soldier for the cause, man. No! This is not the way to help anyone. Oh, I see. You're losing the courage to finish what you started. Well, I have the guts. And I'm taking this thing all the way! And everyone else in Congress is on so far right, they're tipping the country. Anyway! Yep, this is Brandon, the, the Cure member gone rogue. He has a really cool fight, and he has a really awesome theme song, which, unfortunately, I can't play for you too much because they're going to get copyright ID'd. But uh, the fun thing about this fight... La, 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 see him go? La, la, la. He jumped into one stall, and he's going to appear in any random stall around you. So I would suggest in this fight you just keep moving, especially after he attacks you, because chances are he's already jumped a stall and is waiting yeah. to attack you in a different one. You gotta keep moving! Don't stall! I also like the idea of his weapon. He just picked up a piece of broken glass and is just running around, you know, jumping from stall to stall <laughs> and then jumping out to attack you. This, I really like this fight. I've been, I've been looking forward to this one. It's like, how the fuck did you go from stall to stall? Why are you all wet? <laughs> it's all a secret, man. If you would have joined me, I would have told you, Chuck. Time to go down the... Okay, maybe not that one. How about this one? <laughs> yeah, there's one that's flushed. There's, there's like... <laughs> I was just thinking there's like a head in the toilet, and he's like, Whoa, man! Not even crazy enough to do that! Oh, crap. Not until he reaches 25% health, then he'll do anything. <laughs> yeah, he suddenly becomes like, like he somehow grows extra dreads and therefore extra crazy, and he's just ready to take you down. 
the dreads just become longer and longer. <laughs> and then it becomes the ending of Akira, and they just overtake his body and overtake the entire city. Terry gets Perfect. smashed in the process. Perfect. I, th I think we have something here. But he's about... Jeez. He's about dead. Okay, maybe one more round. See, how about, see okay, another idea for Dead Rising 5. Not yes. just zombies. Everything. Oh. Zombies, serial killers, gang violence, fucking mm. uh, the plague. So, like, zombies are the smallest problem out of everything else that's wrong, right? And then Akira shows up, and then it starts raining acid. Oh, and my then God. And then it's and then it gets uh, ridiculously hot and it starts burning everything around you. You know, just just every hazard can throw at you. I think you'll Oops. still become a zombie if you do that. Oh, well, maybe it stops it early. Maybe if you die via zombieism, maybe it, maybe only then it takes effect. But he just was recently bitten, so maybe. No, 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 brother. Let me tell you. If I get All bitten right. by a zombie, I want you to take a gun and I want you to put it in my mouth. And I want you to blow my fucking brainstem out so that way I don't turn into one of those things. Okay. So if he offs himself, it doesn't work. Oh, he just slit his throat. The head is still attached. The brain's not removed. Okay, well, yeah, you got a point there. Move it. <laughs> Willa, Nikki, Terry, Katie's getting lots of mommies this episode. <laughs> God damn it. But yes, she is. We're going to take these three back, and then we're going to go hunting for some specialty items. Yay. As if these three aren't already. <laughs> Specialty <laughs> items. They're not items, okay. But they are my specialty. Okay. There was a, not a funny story, but it was kind of a, it was kind of like a, a one-line joke. Um, somebody on Twitter that I follow said, in all caps, some old man just told me I'd be a great trophy wife. I was like, wow! <laughs> that is such a dickish thing to say! Oh, God! That is so terrible! <laughs> and I felt bad for laughing, but I, I think she was, oh, she was kind of... I don't. <laughs> oh, I want to punch that old man! <laughs> Fucking asshole! <laughs> no, I mean, I felt bad for laughing at her situation. Yes, I, I also wanted to beat up that old man, because how dare you? You never say something like that. And, oh, hey, we made it! Stick with me. You'll be a great trophy wife. <laughs> oh, God, Roshi, no. Please stop. You don't say that to people, ever. Unless you want to get your ass kicked. Stick to me. Keep moving. Stick to me. Nah, because she's stuck on... Yeah. <laughs> and it turns out Chuck actually glued his back, so there's no getting Willa off. Take the joke too far, Chuck. Can you imagine if Chuck was that kind of guy, like, in his younger years? Like, he would always pull practical jokes, but then would go, like, one step too far. Well, he is the best dad, so if he, he's got to make all those dad jokes, I'm sure. Oh, but, God, Chuck saying dad jokes? But oh. in, his, in his own special Chuck Green brand of dadness. Oh. Yeah, he's you like, sure well, were a haul. Ah. Like, so she... So she talks to the to the construction worker. It's like, well, you guys, you girls were certainly working hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's just good. Yeah, good. Yeah, good one. Yeah, hey, you're not getting a standing ovation. You're just getting a couple coughs. Uh, I think it was about time we changed up our uh, our attire here a bit. So let's uh, get the regular hair. Of course, of course, the pla the the classic. Please help me. I've been bitten. Well, I have been bitten. I'm Chuck. Good to see you. Hey, asshole, I've actually been bitten by a zombie. <laughs> Good for you. Does it bring in extra money? Well, does he like your rare or, or well done? <laughs> Chuck, I'm dying. Nice to meet you. I'm dying. <laughs> dying of laughter? 
<laughs> I've got a million of them. Katie, did you take your zon- Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sure. Oh, well, crap. And we'll just double up tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, no, but tr uh, seriously, K Katie's dead. Good job, uh, Chuck. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> have, you, have you tried using Zombricks on regular zombies? Why would you waste it? I, well, I mean, I understand why you were saying that, but... Well, I, okay, would be wasting it. I mean, just find a zombie that's got, like, rotting flesh, an eye missing, mm -hmm. maybe its lips torn off, you know, exposed muscle and tendons, that sort of thing. Just, you Ugh. know, all, all kinds of fucked up. You get the Zombricks of that one. And you record the screams. <laughs> oh my god! Now, I think Zombrex is designed to only stop zombification. It, it, it pauses it, basically. It do You're not cured, unfortunately. Well then, we need to push science further. <laughs> Let's get... Let us get a zombie test subject and get a bunch of Zombrex. But sir, where do we get the Zombrex? We'll deal with that later! But for now, we need to get a zombie. We need to put him in a giant container, and then we need to, you know, teach him to be human again. We need to pull a Resident Evil 3, the film Resident Evil 3. You know, give him a puzzle. See if he can put the cylinder into the round hole. Let's see if he can do a simplistic puzzle for humans. God, that movie sucked. Oh, well, you're talking about the... Mo oh, the... The movie oh, Resident geez. Evil Three. Don't you remember that scene where they had a, you know, they had a zombie chained up and you, they gave him a puzzle. You know, put triangle in triangle hole, put put cylinder in circular hole. It's just like, wait, he's trying to make contact. Well, d do you know what I remember from Resident Evil movie one through five, well through six now? Nothing. Absolutely zero. I know that Mila Jovovich stars in it, and I know it's not really consistent, and I know they're kind of fucking boring. That's what I know. yes, they're boring. But, uh, hey, what what are we doing now? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. Uh, let me show you some really... F Oops. Oh, wow, that was horrid physics. Let me show you some free Zombrex in the casino right next to the safe house. Go ahead onto here, jump from... What would you call these chandeliers? Lights. Well, I would. Well, I would uh, saying. Uh, see, I'm trying to find a pun. See, the, the lights are on and Chuck is on the lights. You know, that's a, that sort of thing. I don't know, but anyway, over here you get free Zombrex and you get a few special items. So, God. And a Brad sword. <laughs> a Brad oh. sword. A Brad sword. A special Brad sword. So maybe, maybe uh, Frank West was here and he named a special sword after Brad. Rip in peace, Brad. You shall be no. missed. <laughs> ah! 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 Oh no, they're attracted to my Brad sword! Stay away, <laughs> you monsters! I will say that uh, these next few episodes are going to be filled with not only story progression, but a lot of fun psychopath fights. And then after that, I can show off a bunch of the secrets of Fortune City, because there's a long stretch of where, like, nothing happens. So I'll be able to, uh, you know, show off a bit. Maybe show off some of the awesome combo weapons, the rest of the hidden Zombrex, and maybe some gifts that we can give our daughter. That would be so nice. Why don't you just sit in a corner for the rest of the time that we have, and uh, we'll just watch SpongeBob or something. That'd be nice. That would be... Katie would like that. We would be the best dad. All done, kiddo. You feeling okay? I'm sorry. Sorry? For what? You always have to do stuff to get my medicine. Weird stuff. Like that dumb show. I wish there was a better solution. Hey, don't worry about that. You're my best girl. I'd do anything for you. I still can't believe you were on that show. It's so cruel. Yeah, I know. But I didn't have a choice. Listen, there's really not much we can do now except wait. I'll call you if I see anything. Tch. <laughs> 
Have you ne- have you seen my cousin Sweet Tooth? <laughs> I hear he has an ice cream truck. Good with kids. <laughs> We've got plenty to do in the next episode. Plenty more missions. Plenty more psychopaths. So we'll see you next time. All righty. Ooh, tastes like chicken. Mm-hmm. Yes, it does. Oh God, are we gonna eat a zombie at some point? <laughs> Although, uh, actually, has anybody ever tried to eat a zombie? Whoa. Tastes like chicken. Hmm. You have to try that out later on. <laughs>